Urban Fitness Friday Focus. Okay, today we're gonna talk about uh, the most valuable thing that you'll ever deal with, uh, the most important thing you'll ever have, um, and the one thing that once you spend it or you run out of it, you can never get it back, and that's time, okay? So today's focus is time. So everybody has 1,440 minutes in a given day. The reason we break that down to minutes is because it's a lot easier for people to sort of conceptualize and think about when we break it down to minutes. So that's 1,414 minutes in the day. Are you spending those minutes or using those minutes in the most productive way you possibly can? And are you making sure that you're going through this life and, and using your time in this life in, I suppose, an optimal uh, mental and physical state, okay? So just some ideas based around that. If we've got 1,440 minutes in a day, like everybody else, these are some important things that I think you should put time into to plan out in your day and to make sure that you are using all those minutes in the day as productively as possible. Okay, so something along the lines of are you taking 10 minutes every morning to think about the day ahead and plan the day ahead, get creative with it and make sure that you've got all your important tasks set out for the day and you have time set aside uh, to get all these tasks done. That's important. Are you putting 10 minutes every day towards some sort of breakfast and nutrition first thing in the morning? So whether that's getting set up for a healthy breakfast and making sure that you've got your food planned out for the rest of the day. That's not to say you want to eat out of a plastic container or Tupperware every day. I'm just merely saying be aware of what you're going to eat that day or have an idea of what types of food you should have or you're going to eat that day. Are you devoting 10 minutes to some sort of mindfulness practice? This here is a game changer. And uh, to be honest with this one, this, uh, this one a lot of the time is one of the things that people say, you know what, I just haven't got time for that. And if you're one of those individuals, that's probably when you need to do that most of all and when you should start dedicating some time towards this. Are you spending 20 to 45 minutes a day um, are you spending that to get moving? So when I say get moving, this could be anything. So you could go for a 20 minute walk. You could do a 45 minute yoga session. You could do a jiu-jitsu session. You could train in the gym. Whatever it is, are you dedicating some sort of time every day just to get the body moving and keep the body healthy, etc. Uh, 10 minutes to fresh air and sunlight. Again, this is another big one, okay? And um, particularly if we think about, uh, say the winter months uh, and you have an office job. Uh, when you get into the office job in the morning, it's dark outside, you spend the whole day in an air-conditioned office under artificial light, and then when you leave that office again, it's dark again to go home. So you get zero exposure to uh, fresh air and outdoor sunlight in the day. Okay, so make sure you, you dedicate time uh, to getting outside for 10 minutes a day even, even if you can push it out to 20 minutes a day. Even if it is raining, just get out there, get some direct sunlight or direct natural light and some fresh air. Okay, um, every even then, are you putting 20 minutes into planning tomorrow or prepping for tomorrow. So whether that be again, it can be go towards prepping food, it can go towards um, making a to-do list for tomorrow, planning out your schedule, or making just an overall plan for tomorrow. Plans are very important. It's like, think of it as a roadmap. You, if you try to get from point A to point B without a map or a plan to get you there, it's very, very difficult, okay? And then, finally, are you dedicating 420 minutes of your day at least to sleep? which you should be, which is absolutely critical, okay? It's one of the most important things that you can do. Uh, again, it gets overlooked a lot of the time. Now, if we take the time to plan all this out, we're using a lot of the minutes in our day really, really, really productively. And the time spent in these short amount of minutes every day is gonna obviously increase the quality of life you have as you go through your time. Now, this leaves with 915 hours left, or sorry, 915 minutes left in the day to dedicate to everything else. So, do the things that make you happy. Hobbies, obviously family, spend a ton of time with family. If you wanna watch TV, do it in here. If you wanna read a book, go to cinema. You've still got 915 minutes left in the day to get all that good stuff done after you've spent all these minutes extremely productively to set you up for that. Um, as always, guys, if you have any questions on any of these individual topics or you want to delve into this any deeper, let us know and we'll see you next week.